All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I just want to give a little intro to this video because a lot's going on. Um, there's going to be a lot of painting in this video. Um, I'm installing a rear main seal and overall just cleaning prep work to get this engine in the shorty. I would show you as a shorty, but the engine's out of, actually out of it right now. Um, but I'm just getting everything prepped and ready for powder coat uh, to return. That way when powder coat's back, I can actually uh, assemble all this stuff. So. Um, you'll see me send stuff out to powder coat in this video. There's a lot going on, so definitely stay tuned throughout the whole thing. Uh, so you stay updated with the whole process. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, guys, so here we have the up pipes all painted up. Came out very nice, if I say so myself. Uh, <laughs> it's not like a lot of people are going to see them behind the engine, but it's all about the details, guys. And It's going to look really nice putting the engine in and whatnot. And it's just nice having another coat on these so they don't rust away or whatever um very pleased with the high temp paint for sure and again i even gave this elbow a light coat you know i didn't go really crazy with it because there's no need to it's a it's a downpipe elbow but you know got a coat of something on it sorry i was a little close there um so i'm gonna get these taken off the uh paint booth here and i'll get them in the garage and probably get on to painting or whatever's next so stay tuned all right, guys, back in the homemade paint booth here. Got our motor mounts completely separated from another, from each other, sorry. And uh, we're gonna get spraying them soon, got them all hanging. And I figured I'd just throw the thermostat housing in as well, because we're gonna be doing gloss black with all this stuff. And I'm gonna go grab the motor mount bolt, bolts quickly, stick them in a box and uh, spray the heads of those too. So I'm gonna show you guys everything when they're done. So uh, stay tuned painting away still almost almost there though all right guys so got our motor mounts <clears throat> all painted here came out just exactly how i thought they would just give it a nice you know nice shine nice gloss black on them that way they're not all rusty because nothing is going to be rusty on this engine it would be odd that these would that these would be you know it would really stick out like a sore thumb so uh i mean you know not an artist with it because they are engine mounts <laughs> at the end of the day but as long as we got a coat of black on them, they'll be good. The two coats, two heavy coats of gloss black and yeah, our thermostat housing here. Good as new, of course. So uh, yeah, got these all painted up. Last major thing that I need to paint would be the uh, oil cooler. So stay tuned and uh we'll be getting that done soon all right guys i'm actually editing this video and realized i did not record the oil cooler getting painted um which i find crazy i feel like i did but whatever here's the oil cooler painted at the same color as the engine um as you can see came out pretty good um it's kind of a pain because i had to tape it off you know these are constantly dripping oil but i, I simply i got the paint booth tent set up and i hung up from the paint booth and Hit it with some paint. Of course, I did the engine paint on it and the engine paint primer before that. So, uh, definitely pleased with how it came out. Certainly can't complain. It's gonna look great on the engine. All right, guys, got the uh, six seven here. Just did a actually just did full oil change, filter, fuel filters on it. Cleaned out the air filter. Um, finally, this thing gets abused. Literally gets driven about a thousand miles a week. Believe it or not, but um got officially have all of the powder coat stuff loaded so finally i think i'm there i got a new oil pan believe it or not the drain bolt wasn't stripped got our tanks this one is labeled illusion blueberry because that's what it's getting for the gray truck um and we got our newer oil pan new oil pan that's not stripped in there so it's real. I'm kind of nervous now because I feel like I'm forgetting. Now I, I feel like I'm forgetting a million things. Um, but uh, hey, it's at least we'll get most of it there, if anything. But I, I really don't think I'm forgetting anything. We got our intercooler pipes, spider plenums, intake, uh, valve covers, brackets, and turbo housing. I don't think there's anything else other than that. And, and uh, reservoir tanks. I really don't think there is. But so we're gonna get this out to powder. And uh, yeah, it's finally, it's finally that time, guys. And let me know if you want, if you guys want some six seven content, you can always do that too. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So today we're gonna be installing a rear main seal on the uh, seven three build here. 
Um, noticed one other one was a little bit, had a little bit of oil on it and didn't really want to risk running it. So got the old one off. Um, that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. I mean, most of the times if you're gonna be doing this, it's the first time it's gonna be off. So you're not gonna have a wear ring um, to take off. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You kind of just take the eight mil bolts out, uh, get some sort of a seal scraper and a hammer and uh, not don't you don't want to be hitting in on this you kind of just want to have the steel scraper straight down and just work your way around all the rtv and it'll it'll pop right off um then you're going to want to clean i mean you're going to want to clean the surface very very well as, as good as you really can um for that new seal to go on and as well as the crank here it's pretty interesting the reason why they give you these uh wear rings these wear sleeves where is it? Why they give you these with your rear mains is you see this groove that the old one wear wore into the crank here. So it's it's gonna be covering that up. But it's pretty crazy to see how deep this one really was. But we got it all clean. Um as clean as it's gonna get. So first what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do is take our uh, wear sleeve here. You're gonna want the beveled edge, as you see it here, facing out like this. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some red uh, Loctite in the inside of this so it does not spin free, uh, on the crank at some point. So, uh, and then we're gonna drive it in. So uh, what I'm gonna drive it in with is I'm, I have a tool to actually drive it in uh, the proper way with, but it never seems to work right because they didn't give me the proper hardware. It's a long story, but I'm gonna use the driver that they gave me in a hammer. You can also, if you really wanna do, put it on like so and work it in with a mallet, typically um, a rubber mallet. And if you have like a brass punch, you could do that too. I'll show you how I'm doing it. So uh, stay tuned. So I'll show you, I'm using this driver here. Um, you typically have a tool that you th uh, goes through this and it's, it's a it, it's never worked right but i'm gonna show you this goes there's a groove on the driver and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it up and i'm gonna hit a hammer right in the center of it there um but again if not you can typically start it with a rubber mallet i put it on and use a rubber mallet and work your way around it and get it on so we get some red loctite in there and uh beat it on so as you can see now we've got the uh wearing fully installed here i believe it's fully seated um, and we're gonna now put our actual uh, rear main seal on. So let's see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated. So my rear main kit, it's by Mal M Molly, came with a uh, gasket here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply RTV onto uh, both sides of the gasket, the side that's facing the engine, and then I'm gonna end up putting RTV on the face of the rear main seal just to make sure this thing will not leak. So. We use international RTV, use a part number on that. And uh, we're gonna get this on there. So I'll, uh, I'll show you once the gasket's on and everything. All right guys, so got that rear main seal pressed on there. It's kind of annoying trying to get it over the, rear, uh, the wear sleeve, I must say. Um, kind of just had to work it on and make sure that that yellow lip is facing out, that all of the lips on the oil seal are properly on there, nothing's pinched. Um, as you can see, I went a little RTV crazy. Um, it's kind of my own fault there, but I, I certainly hope it doesn't leak after all that. I really would be a little bit annoyed if it leaked, <laughs> but it is on there. So just wanted to show you guys the final product of that with it, um, with it all done, so. All right guys, back here with miscellaneous things for the 600 horsepower, 7.3 build. Um, Finally got the wiring harness out that I took off that engine um, before I painted it and everything and actually took a look at it and there's definitely some things that as you'd expect with any of these wiring harnesses that uh, might need a little repairs uh, which is no big deal they make new ends any of these ends they typically make that you could solder and splice in however you may want to do it um, if I'm going to do that it's no big deal with the ones that are damaged but I just got it out here um, put some degreaser on it and, and let it sit in the sun here for probably a day or so. Let it really dry up um, and uh, probably hit it with some more um, 
permanent power, stuff like that. I really try to get it as clean as possible. Took the stupid red tape off it. Um, took the loom off of that heavier gauge wire. Um, and we're just gonna probably, I'll quickly go over one more time with purple power when I actually kind of feel like it. There's some plugs that won't be reused. So just try to figure that all out and uh, what was going on with it before. Yes, I could buy a new one, but I'm not sure if it's quite that bad yet to buy a new one. Um, I've, I've saved a lot of these before, so it's not a, not a huge, I don't think it'll be a huge deal. So that's definitely a lot cleaner than it used to be. And you know, we're at that point here with this build where you really don't wanna do this stuff with the little stuff like that. This, like this is really not exciting at all, but you gotta do it. And that's what, what makes it uh makes it special at the end of the day with all the details. And uh, over there, if you see the box over there, I've just got, you know, engine mount bolts, just painting the heads of that. But I'll show you guys what else we need to do while well, stuff's at powder coat when it comes to just the engine. And you're really just looking at it here. It's not much, it's all cleaning. And a little more painting. Um, that's gonna get hit with, I gotta buy more gunk. That's gonna get painted. Um, alternator, probably not getting touched for now. Eventually probably get a brand new one. Thinking about getting a brand new fan. And then this stuff's just, we'll get Windex, you know. Um, but everything over here is just about waiting for powder coat. You might, yes, I could put motor mounts on, oil cooler on, manifolds. Totally, I can do that. It's just, it, it's going to make my life harder than it should be to put the oil pan on. I could totally do it with the stuff on, but why would I make stuff harder? You know, like, you're going to have a motor mount sitting right there, and I'm trying to put these studs in the oil pan. I just don't want to do it. You know, it just doesn't make sense to me. So, uh, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, one last thing is we're just going to reseal those injectors in there and install glow plugs, but... I'm gonna wait a little while before I do that. That way they're you know freshly lubed up and everything before we get the first start on this. So uh, yeah, just a little update on the uh, engine build and probably this weekend, you know, this is probably totally out of time for you guys, but um, once I'm done painting that stuff, which should be done this week, it's time to uh, rip the engine out of this, get the whole engine bay uh, prepped for the new engine going in. And I'm gonna just do all this while we're waiting for powder. So stay tuned guys. We're only in the beginning of this process here. It's going to get crazier and crazier, so you might want to subscribe. Right, guys, next up for paint here, we've got our AC compressor. Got it as prepped as I'm, I have the patience to get it. This is another one that's really not fun to paint, simply by the fact that this one, I mean, it's had, coincidentally, has had the most refrigerant still in the compressor that I've ever seen. It's constantly leaking out, and... Uh, it's really just not a fun object to paint. It's just, you know, another one of those, another one of those that isn't satisfying. And uh, it's funny because as I'm recording it, perfect. I uh, I need to tape this off. And I forgot to, but that's what's good about recording. So I can literally see. Um, you probably would have seen it eventually, but so I'm just gonna tape that off. I've got it as prep as I'm gonna get it and hit it with some uh, engine primer, and I'm gonna paint this the engine color, which is that that uh gray that you see on the engine over there so i'm gonna get that done and i'll catch back up with you when i've got paint on it so stay tuned all right guys little update on the wiring harness i uh hit it with gunk um sprayed it off and then i'm also been hitting it with purple power and really trying to detail out um connection ends a little bit you know get them get them somewhat clean on the outside a little better than they are than they were um you know, so far, this is just gravel because they're sitting in gravel, but definitely a lot cleaner. Um, I might, you know, I might go over it again, maybe, but it's just about to where I want it. And the next step is, so anywhere where you see tape kind of falling off like this, I'm going to take the tape off and retape it with fresh electrical tape. Same with, uh, like, any area like that, I'm going to want to re-hit uh, with electrical tape. Just to make this whole harness, you know, just look at least a little better. Uh, I'm sure I could get a new harness for a couple hundred dollars. Or I don't know how much. I want to say it was 150 or a little more. But I just I can't justify that when I'm looking at a harness right here that if it needs repaired can be repaired. And I have another used harness. But I, I was looking at the other used harness that's kind of in the same exact boat as this one when it comes to damage wise and condition. So I just figured you know what I'm I'm gonna use what the engine came with and we're gonna make it work. So. I'm gonna keep plugging away at this, so uh, stay tuned. 
I've also got our power steering pump out here. I think I might have showed you guys what it looked like before, but I had it with some purple power and sprayed some water on it. And uh, so far we're looking a lot better than it was. I'm gonna probably throw some more at it. Um, hit it with one more spray of water and then I'll actually start touching it. I mean, before the thing was so disgusting. I, I literally didn't even want to touch it. So I'm gonna do that. Hit it with one more coat of purple power and see uh see where we go but so far so much better and uh yeah so stay tuned on uh this whole cleaning process here six seven in the background looking all right hey guys so here is the final result of the compressor yes i already got a grease print on it um but that's all right we'll wipe that right off but definitely pleased with it sorry my finger is in the video um a whole lot better than what it used to look like. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but in the last clip there was a uh, refrigerator sticker on it that got taken off before I painted it quickly and everything got taped off as it should be. So, um, so far so good with that. Um, then take a look at our power steering pump here. Came out way better than I could have ever even imagined. And even better is that it's a reman, so hopefully it's a good pump. <laughs> the, the pump that's currently in the shorty is shot. So it'll definitely be nice uh, steering normally with, with this pump here. I mean, it, it cleaned up better than I, sorry, that's better than I could have imagined. So that's great news. Um, once I get my um, brackets back from powder coat, that's gonna get pressed right back on. And lastly of what we did today is got our wiring harness um, as clean as it's gonna get. And what I did was I took all of the old factory, um, basically tape that looked like this, but it was actually falling apart everywhere you look. Um, and it, it kind of, the way it falls apart is very ugly. And I put my own, I took it off and electrical taped up everything myself. Um, to the best of my ability. You can see, I mean, throughout the whole harness, we've got fresh electrical tape, um, and then stuff like butt connectors that were exposed. I put some tape over. Um, like, this is a new ICP end, and, you know, which is great, but someone just left the butt connectors completely exposed. And yeah, I mean, I might go at it a little more, but we got some decent amount of time in this and got it pretty clean. So it'll look a lot better than it did uh, when I put it on that fresh engine. And I got all the stupid red tape off it. I don't know why they do that. I'm sure there's a, who knows, maybe there's some excellent reason, but it just annoys me. It's, it's, it's so ugly, but yeah, got that all off. So that's pretty much the update for today. Um, we'll see uh, what comes next. All right, guys. So I want to quickly show you this piece that I uh, uh, made a little bit custom. Um, for the truck, it's a very small detail, but I want to show you guys at least what I did. It's painted up now and everything, but this is the bracket that goes on the driver's side valve cover. Um, for reference, um, right there, and the wiring harness, the big, I believe it's a 42 pin, uh, goes right through here and connects with the clip onto this here. And from factory, what they have is, let's put this, let's say right there. Somewhat like that is it goes, um, it goes kind of all the way up like that. And there's two holes. And those holes are to connect your uh, factory air filter, air intake for the turbo. And pretty much when you get a T4 kit, you're not going to use these bolt holes. Um, you maybe if you made your own little bracket or something, tip, typically though, you're not going to use these. And it's just an ugly piece that's sticking up for pretty much no reason. And things start hitting it and it's just, it's kind of pointless. So what I did was I simply cut it off, um, ground it down to make it look somewhat factory. I mean, it came out pretty well, I must say. The little, uh, Pete's not perfect, you know? I'm not a pro rattle can painter, but still, I mean, definitely gonna look great. And I'm happy that that top piece isn't there. So I just wanna show you guys, if you do have T4 kits or plan on doing something that Something that you can do, again, just small detail to make it look a little cleaner under the hood. So, 
Hope you guys uh, gathered something from that. All right, guys, last step for painting and cleaning for this video is I got the lift pump out and I got the brackets for the lift pump, ground them down and uh, painted these to make them nice and pretty. Show you guys the lift pump. Clean it up best I can. It's got some corrosion on it, but uh, it's got, it's, it's a lot cleaner than it was and I might still hit it with some Windex. So the reason why I got that clean is because I'm just about ready to install this, which I'm going to be doing in full. I'm going to record everything on how I'm installing this kit, doing AN lines. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that, guys. A lot coming with this. Powder coat's probably coming soon. And the engine is coming out in the next video. You'll see that in the next video. So it's currently out right now, actually. But you will see very soon. So stay tuned, guys. Um, a lot coming for this engine build. A lot coming for the shorty. So you're going to want to subscribe and put your bell notifications on for that. So I appreciate you guys watching through this. I know this is the boring part, but things are about to get a lot more exciting very soon, including in the next video. So I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.